G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Frostpunk on the Edge, the new DLC or new upcoming DLC for Frostpunk from 11-Bit Studios. First off, thanks to Evolve PR and 11-Bit Studios for giving us the opportunity to play test this upcoming DLC. It will be available on the 20th of August, so pen that in your diaries and make sure you run out and grab it. This is the final, yes, that's right, it's the final DLC for Frostpunk. Unfortunately, 11-bit aren't going to be doing any more content for Frostpunk. So we just have to live with the wonderful content we've got up to now, including this one. But uh, anyway, we'll just have to see how it goes. And as we're speaking, we've just had the severe cold drop in. So it's now minus 40 degrees. So this is where we're going to need our stockpile of coal. Uh, let's have a look and see how we're going in here. Uh, chilly. Uh, but that's because we're during the day so the heaters there we go hang on what's going on with those i thought we had them set right let's get out of here let's go back to these now working hours zero eight hundred six no i don't want them on zero eight hundred six eight hundred do i Oh, do, I, do I want them on 20? Oh, let's let bugger it. Let's just put them on 24 hours. Um, because at the moment, they weren't going to be heating the, the night. So, uh, anyway. All right. So, at the end of the last episode, we sent off our scouts to find some... Uh, what was it? We had to find a suitable, stable food source on Frostland. So, we sent them off to the natural ter terrace to see what we could find here. And uh, so they've arrived there, so we're now going to explore. The mountain terrace slopes gently towards the valley below. Let's explore. The view is promising. The valley seems cosy by the Frostland standards and invites us to descend into it. There is nothing remarkable in the terrace itself. Okay, so let's go to the Sacred Valley. Off they go. Right, I think it's now time... Uh, no, we haven't got enough people. I was going to say, time to do a second lot of scouts. Uh, that's not really going to help us for the moment. We need to put the public house in to help with our discontent. Uh, so we're going to put that in right now. That, there we go. He's in. Uh, just got to build that. Uh, two cores. We're waiting on another 45 steel. Then we can send it off to London and get some more food, hopefully. Uh, Temperature is going to rise in a day. That'll be okay. Uh, our coal is okay uh, we have now got coal being produced from the coal thumper as well which I forgot about so that's it's okay as long as that manages to keep up with the demand from the uh, braziers that'll be okay uh, 87 we're getting close right now this is now with mixed crews research it's now producing uh, steel and steam cores so it is now Right, so it's going to be producing both at the same time. So that's fantastic. It is a little bit slower in doing that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the wooden supports back on again. And that's going to make that happen a little bit quicker. All right, so let's see how quick that happens. Because what we want to see is we want to see this being produced nice and quick. So we can actually keep on sending stuff back to New London to those horrible, dastardly bureaucrats that are screwing us to the wall. The ice wall, in fact. And uh, we want to get some food out of them. All right, there we go. So let's uh, send that off. So we've now, with their change to their uh, new requirements, uh, they send us food when we send them uh, the steel and the steam cores. So that's now occurred. So incoming food, outgoing steel core and all, uh, core and all that. Right, so we need five people in the public house hope rises discontent lowers that's all well and good well, wrong key again and we're off and running there okay cook house um too cold right well that's functioning hmm well I need to warm it up. I've got no real choice other than to do that. So, uh, 
right on the borderline, isn't it? Uh, we'll just put one in. Uh, medical post, okay. Uh, people are hungry. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Um, they'll have three days to feed everyone. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's commit to it. There's only 16 we've got to feed. Um, let's see if we can manage to do it. All right. Uh, five hours so they get down to the next destination. Um, we got we got eight hours till our food arrives from New London. Um, okay. Now this new regime in our uh, in our warehouse isn't working very quickly. Oh, we we're out of coal. That's not good. Um, right. Do we, do we, do we, do we? Right, let's go to these guys and see what they're going to find. This valley seems to have its own microclimate. It's less cold and the waterfall, although frozen, appears to have been flowing relatively recently. Uh, explore. Going further into the valley, we find the remains of a grove. A large number of stumps is all that's left of it. Someone cut it down and not too long ago. We found some fresh chips under the snow. Uh, so we'll take the resources and we'll move on to hot springs. Okay, it's got to be a settlement here somewhere. Right. Um, what have we got? We're down to 87 people. This isn't good. Right, um, I still got some timber there it's taking out, which is fine. It's still too cold, we haven't got any coal. All right, we're just going to get through the night until we can get to work again and start getting some coal. Temperature will increase, which will be nice. People are dying left, right, so we just lost 10 people. Shipment has reached New London. Fine. Uh, here we go. We're coming out to the day. Be okay. I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Yes, I'm depending on you, John Whiteman. Let's get to work. We can't let up now. No, nope, that's right. Okay. Where's our food? Where's our food? You sods. Did you not send it? Oh, it's just arriving now. Come on. Right, temperature's heating up. If you call that heating up, minus 30 degrees. Where, where'd our food delivery go? Did that just disappear in front of my eyes? Where, where'd our food go? Those sods didn't send us any food. Um, we haven't received the food, I swear. Man, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right. We've got one steam core. We've got 33 steel. I can't believe... I, I'm sure we didn't get any food at all. Hmm. Maybe you guys can rewind and have a look and see if I did get the food. But I, I'm sure we didn't get any raw food because we only had two or three there anyway. Ah, oh dear. Down to 72 people. We're screwed. Right, let's hope they find something for us. A small settlement built under the cover of rocks in which several dozen people live. 
consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. That sounds promising. Okay, amazingly people live here and not only do they grow their own food, but they're willing to share it. This enclave of life clinging to a few hot springs was settled after the great storm by people from a town which survived with the help of another city. They set up the hothouses here and planted the seeds, as they say, to pass the gift of life. They gave us some food as a gesture of goodwill and are eager to trade more in exchange for help with expanding their settlement. Terrific. Indeed it is. 44 raw food. Right. Well, you, my friend, uh, send a construction team. Small settlement built under... Da, 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 da. Okay. How do I send a construction team? I don't know. Um... Go to the transport depot. Okay, now that we've found a promising food source, we should form a construction team unit in the transport depot and send them to Hot Springs to build a permanent trading depot. Okay. Units. Right. I need 10 workers. Right, well, you're coming home because I want that food ASAP. Um... Now let's let's see if we can talk to steel and steel core communicate. Uh, we have some problems. We need more people. Uh, all right. What's your idea? To ensure the survival of the colony and raise the steam core's retrieval rate, the government of New London issues an act on the temporary employment of children. <laughs> Jesus. From this day on, all able children can be sent to work in auxiliary workplaces. Understood. All right. Joy. Okay, so I have four children available. It's not really going to help me too much. Uh, can I put children in here? No, that's where I need people. I really need people in there. Um, can't put children in there. Can I put children in there. So minus one, two, three, and max that out. And then you guys can all go into here. Uh, medical post. I've got no one in that medical post. Um, okay, this is looking pretty, pretty grim. Pretty grim. Uh, no gatherable resources, right? So we can just pull you apart. More trees. There's more trees up here further, so I need to build another one of those in here. So we're going to do that. Resources, sawmill. Okay. Uh, we'll then build. Road into there. See how that goes. All right, they're gonna they're gonna die. They're gonna be freezing. I shouldn't have done that. They're all heading out there. <laughs> they're all heading out there to deconstruct and then build that one. They're all they're all gonna get sick. You watch this. This is gonna this is gonna quickly count up. I reckon. Especially considering we're about to go cold again. We're at eight and three. I suppose as long as we don't get any gravely sick, we'll be okay. Oh, one of the gravely sick has been healed. No, they didn't. They died. Complete opposite. Right, that's gone. Building this. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. I really need, really need some more people now. Seems we've killed everyone off. Hope is hope is all but gone. At one desirable decision, seven adults died in one controversial law. Uh, discontent. People are hungry. Lack of medical care. Well, we know that. Um, I think we'll just get rid of that. We survived another night. That has to count for something. Well, possibly. All right. Um, 
don't need to max you out yet because we don't. Um, decision decisions. Gathering post. That's inoperative, so let's get rid of that. That means I can have enough then to send... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The frost is here. Great. Um, right. Right, 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 right. This is going to be difficult. One of our people. Another one of our people died. Another one of our people died. Uh, mild frostbite. Since it became gravely ill. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. We've done very, very poorly, and so another one of our people have died. Are they going to sack me yet? Okay, more sick beds needed. I promise the sick will be treated. Uh, yeah, I'll open a new man. Uh, yeah, that's an easy way to do it. I can just build a new post. Uh, health. Medical post. Let's just build that again. There you go. So right, that's that's easy done. Um, Fourteen. Can I can I do this yet? At least ten citizens must be available. Let's take them out. All right. Then let's get that going. Uh, we're going to go to there. See you later. Right. Glimmer of hope. A little glimmer of hope. Right. Let's put all the engineers in here. Actually, let's take one, two engineers out of there. And we'll put them into that uh, sick bay when that's ready. Right. So this is almost ready. Okay, so now we'll put two there. Hopefully we can start healing some of these guys and then at least feel that take care of the eel. Uh, our scouts are almost back, which means they're going to have some food, which means then we can start hopefully feeding some of these people here. Scouts have returned. 19 wood, 44 raw food. Excellent. Right. I said they brought back 44 raw food. Where is it all? Only 12 came in. Is there a math problem? Right. Oh, actually, was there anything further back down this way? I think there was. No, okay. Let's uh let's actually bring you up to here. Crumbling hut. Right. Well there we go. Look, uh, we fixed most of our, our hungry. Uh feed all the hungry, twenty out of twenty seven. Well, that should be achievable. Thirty nine. We got two cores again. Come on. Our hope is really deteriorated. Waiting to see if we're going to heal anyone. Obviously not doing very well on the healing stakes. Getting back out to work. Come on. We've got eight raw food there. Let's convert it and get these guys fed and then I can get rid of this problem. Cold at home, bad health care, people are hungry, cold at work. Another one of our people died. I opened a new medical post. See, I swear there's a couple of bugs in here. Oh, hang on. It's not, not operative yet. That's why. Right. Because of the temperature. And it's not going to make the food because it's too cold there as well. 
So we've got to wait for that. Okay, the hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Okay, happy with that. Right, hot springs. Build a trading depot. A small settlement built under the cover of rocks in which several dozen people live. It consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. Build a trading depot. Uh, av favor is average. Okay, yep. Is that all we do? Right, that's all we've got there for now. Okay, so back we go. So our people rejoice at the news of the food deal with hot springs. We might still have to somehow return the favour, but we'll do it on our own terms. Okay. Good. Uh, what have we got here? Hello, your people did a great job setting up the trading depot so quickly. Now we can start helping each other. We are sending you our surplus of food and we can give you more if you provide us with resources necessary to expand our settlement. We'd be grateful if you could also assist us with improving our housing and health care. Um, uh, okay, we have some problems. Hmm. Let, let's risk the favour. We need some food. You asked for a lot, but we agree. We hope you remember about it when we need help. I will. Right. Let's see. So we've got two lots of food coming in, hopefully, in there. Um, right. Let's crank this back over just to steal. Let's crank this over. Right. Yeah, like that. Let's get that cranked. Right. Uh, let's see. What else have we got? Okay, uh, our post 11, is there a problem? You haven't dispatched a scheduled steel and steam core shipment to us. To help you with fulfilling your duties, we grant you the right to introduce extended shifts. Use it wisely. Oh yeah, I'm not going to talk to them. It's really beyond use of talking to them. Understood. The work shift can be extended to 14 hours. Right, yeah, I'm not going to worry about doing that at the moment. I'm going to wait and see. I think we're sort of ready for a comeback. <laughs> yeah right we're ready for a comeback let's see how things go from here so we want the temperature to raise up we want to come back to 20 degrees and that way we'll be a little bit happier but we, look here we're going to be dropping again we're going to drop to minus 30 and then back to minus 40 again here so we're going to need the coal we've got no personnel available shipment for New London is ready to dispatch all right, off you go. Now, you need to send me some food and don't, don't rip me off. Right. The shift is over. Time, for rest. Time for a rest. Okay, they can all go and rest. I'm happy with that. Um, still pretty stable with the woods. That's okay. I overly fussed about that. Public house. We've got no one in the public house. Um, let's let's take one from here and put one in here. Okay. Okay. New London. Uh, we commend you for finding another settlement and making initial contact with their representative. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food security. You leave it alone, your sods. However, we have to remind you that all external connections and food distribution network are to be handled directly from New London. Immediately cease contact with hot springs and hand over the raw food you received. Um, this is outrageous. Enough is enough. Bloody bastards. No more masters. Uh, this doesn't look good. Conflict. People had enough. Sir, people are rioting. They refuse to follow orders from New London. No more masters chance the mob. Enough is enough. A miner waves her mattock in the air. Bloody bastards, she shouts. They treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us just to give up. Our only hope for survival? No way. People have dragged the office workers from the outpost administration to kick them out of the outpost as they stand. Should we intervene to let the clerks prepare for the journey to New London? 
Yes, let's tell our people to back down. Right. That will teach them to respect people. How could they demand this from us? Right, well, let's see how things pan out now. Right, look at this. We've got 91 food. Fantastic. New London. You're, you treacherous scum. Your outpost is officially disbanded and you all will be tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain loyal citizens of New London. After that, you'll be hauled back in manacles and may God have mercy on your souls. This was New London speaking. Over and out. Yeah, bollocks. Right, cherry on your boot. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, they're, they're heading back, the administration clerks. Right. Uh, go to the transport depot. What have we got in here? Nothing, nothing. Uh, okay. Seek help in Frostland. With the communications cut, there is no way for us to walk back from the brink. Even if our people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence declaration, we can only prepare to confront what we must assume will be a punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, we will need much more manpower and resources than we have. So let's try to find more people in Frostland. Maybe there are other settlements like Hot Springs. It's also worth asking them for help. I see. Right. Difficult times. Harsh words were said. Reckless decisions were made. But we can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostland in hopes of finding our other people out there. Alone, we have no chance against New London. Other than that, we just have to wait for their move. Okay. All right. Um, interesting. Interesting indeed. Right, we need the temperature to raise here. And then I'm going to need to concentrate on getting some coal. But to do that, I need people. And I haven't got people. Um, um, units. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Uh, communicate. We need help against New London. I'm sorry to hear that we were the cause of your clash with New London. If you help us, we might be able to support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us with setting up basic healthcare and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower and resources to do this by ourselves, and we dread that we won't survive another storm. Um, we like manpower, it's the same thing. We will think about it. Never mind. Farewell. Right. Okay, now I can't read that. So, is that, is that a bug? Build basic homes and supply the workforce. Right, so how do I do that? Um, I'm assuming I don't have to build it here. General. From New London. Uh, settlement development. Build basic homes and supply the workforce. Uh, take care of the eel. Da -da -da -da. Right. Um, a bit of a loss now as to what's got to happen. Oh, okay. Okay, so is that what I've got to provide them? Let's have a look. Um, let's get this, the working day started. We'll get some more steel. Healthcare promise fulfilled. Okay. Temperatures risen. Food being converted. Excellent. Scouts have reached the crumbling hut. Right, let's go and have a little crumbling hut. The building, once heavily damaged, has been repaired to provide some protection against the weather. Smoke is billowing from its makeshift chimney. Might have survivors. Yay! Explore. 
We knock and armed people answer the door, but they lower their weapons when we assure them of our peaceful intentions. We soon find out that they we are their last hope. They are emaciated, hungry and sick, and their supplies are running out. We learn from them that previous inhabitants of this place were killed by wild animals. Um, let's escort them. I, I need them. I need them bad, badly, so let's do that. Um, okay, basic dwelling, so we can do that one. Shipment en route, excellent. Uh, so we need 50 more steel, and we can do trade resources for food. Right. So that's what we need at the moment. We need some more steel. Right. Discontent has dropped right off, which is great. Hope is still a little bit low. Uh, food, the sick, 128 rations. Right. Things are looking a little bit better. Our population is not looking very good. But uh, all in all, um, Outpost Administration, are we free? Now that New London no longer controls our affairs, many of our people say they feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost their guidance and support, but we gained independence. We don't have to do their bidding, ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and decide what to do. There's a petition to change the name of our settlement since we're no longer an outpost. Should we do it? Yes, let's do it. Um, Winterfield? Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Confirm name. All right. And that's it for this episode. Um, we're running over time yet again. We're just enjoying this game so much, even though we're seemingly doomed to fail at it. Uh, it is a wonderful game, and I highly recommend this and the DLC, obviously, to go with it. There is a season pass you can also buy, which gives you the base game and the DLCs that are previously available, including uh, the On the Edge DLC all available from steam and on the edge is available on the 20th of august so another week to go or less than a week by the time you see this video uh, for that to be available again many thanks to 11bit studios and evolve pr for giving us the early access to the dlc we are thoroughly enjoying it loving it and we enjoy playing through it again and again and again and uh yeah hats off lovely art lovely the music the background music is just awesome really really enjoy it so uh, thanks to, to 11-Bit Studios for such a good game. Uh, and uh, apart from that, hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, press that like button. Leave your comments down below. Uh, tell me how poorly I'm doing and how long you actually think I'm going to last. I'm at day 15, day 14. If I last a day 20, I'll be surprised. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this episode. And we'll see you again very soon back here at Frostpunk on the Edge DLC. Take care of yourselves and loved ones. And we'll see you again very soon back here with Duck Zooli Gaming. See you later. Bye.